Prince Harry condemned a global assault on democracy and freedom around the world in a keynote address to the United Nations General Assembly in New York on Monday, criticizing the rolling back of constitutional rights in the United States. He took aim at the overruling of Roe v. Wade, a landmark decision by the Supreme Court that guaranteed women the right to abortion at the federal level. He also cited lies and disinformation, the horrific war in Ukraine, and the havoc of climate change to make his case in his speech delivered to an almost empty room. Speaking to GB News viewers, Nigel Farage slammed Prince Harry, saying, Prince Harry has been to the United Nations today. Goodness only knows why they invite him. But he's been speaking, he's been laying in into the decisions of the Supreme Court in the USA to make abortion rights, as they decided, at the state level and by voters as opposed to it being part of federal law. And he's also talked about the attack on democracy in the world, which I think he and his wife mean, any candidate in support is anti-democratic. But just to cap the lot to an empty room of the UN and I'm pleased to say Prince Harry has been talking about poverty in Africa, a man who's never had to do a day's work in his life, who travels around the world in a private jet, who's got a big advance on Netflix. And he's now czar of poverty in Africa. Isn't that just marvelous? Mr. Farage said. During the UN's Nelson Mandela Day commemoration in New York, Prince Harry honored the memory of the former South African president and anti-apartheid activist. He said, on my wall, and in my heart, every day is an image of my mother and Mandela meeting in Cape Town in 1997. Princess Diana and Nelson Mandela met in Cape Town just months before the Duchess of Cornwall died in a car crash in 1997. When I first looked at the photo, straight away what jumped out was the joy on my mother's face, said Prince Harry. The playfulness, cheekiness, even. Pure delight to be in communion with another soul so committed to serving humanity. Princess Diana was known for her humanitarian work. During her lifetime, she helped homeless organizations and the National AIDS Trust. Prince Harry has also done his share of humanitarian work. In 2006, he co-founded his Centibale charity to help vulnerable children in Lesotho, Botswana and Malawi. The Centibale charity also played a crucial role in responding to the HIV epidemic as an information source. The Duke of Sussex became president of the African Parks in December 2017. Having visited Southern Africa many times, Prince Harry has a deeply held interest in frontline conservation projects that work to protect Africa's natural heritage and wildlife.